Hi, and welcome to a preview of week six of World History 2. So delving into this week, we will talk about the fascinating period known as the Enlightenment. This intellectual movement of the 17th and 18th centuries was characterized by the pursuit of knowledge, reason, and the transformation of society through these ideals. To understand the Enlightenment, we must first explore how science played a pivotal role in its development. Science and the Enlightenment were deeply intertwined. In the preceding centuries, the scientific revolution had set the stage by fostering a spirit of inquiry and empiricism. Inquiry and empiricism, excuse me. Thinkers like Galileo, Copernicus, and Newton challenged traditional beliefs encouraging a shift towards a more rational understanding of the world. This new approach to knowledge was central to Enlightenment thinking. So, we will also discuss some key political philosophies. Uh, one of the most influential uh, figures in this regard was John Locke. So, John Locke believed that all individuals were born with natural rights, that is, life, liberty, and property. He argued that government's purpose was to protect these rights. Locke's idea of a social contract posited that people would willingly submit to a government in exchange for protection of their rights. This notion greatly influenced the development of democratic thought and the idea of limited government, and its effects um, are far-reaching and have a major effect today. Another prominent Enlightenment thinker was Voltaire. So Voltaire was a staunch advocate for freedom of speech and religious tolerance. He famously said, I disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. His writings and ideas challenged the prevailing authority of the church and absolute monarchs, contributing to the Enlightenment's uh, emphasis on individual rights. So as we move on through this week, we will integrate a little bit of economics. Adam Smith was a pivotal figure in shaping economic thought during the Enlightenment. Uh, Smith's uh, seminal work, The Wealth of Nations, laid the groundwork for modern capitalism. He argued that individuals acting in their self-interest would unintentionally benefit society as a whole. Smith's invisible hand concept suggested that free markets with minimal government intervention, could efficiently allocate resources and drive economic growth. Now, alongside Adam Smith, the physiocrats also made significant contributions to economic thought. Though the physiocrats believed in the existence of natural economic laws, much like the laws of physics, they emphasized the importance of agriculture as a primary source of wealth and advocated for minimal government interference in economic matters. This laid the groundwork for later economic theories and policies. So as we move on to throughout this week, we will incorporate a lesson on current events. Uh, we will take a look at the world and what's going on around us. We will see if uh, any events that we find may have some historical precedence especially ones relating to our unit that goes about the age of exploration and then on to the enlightenment and the um, absolute monarchs and revolutions that took place in Europe and North America. So in conclusion, uh, let me just say that the enlightenment was a period shaped by science, philosophy, and economic thought. Science laid the foundation for a rational worldview while philosophers like John Locke and Voltaire championed ideas of individual rights and freedoms. Economists like Adam Smith and the physiocrats reshaped economic thinking, paving the way for modern capitalism. I look forward to seeing you all next week, and uh, I look forward to hearing your questions and thoughts uh, about these topics. Thank you.